Hey writers, what a week we've had. Today's the day where we pick one of our signs or our letters and we add the final finishing touches to make it as convincing as possible. Then we're going to share it with the world. Watch. So let me show you my screen. And so a couple of things I want you to think about. So step one, look at all the pieces that you've written this week. You might have a couple of signs or a few letters. And what I want you to do is step one, I want you to reread what you wrote. And I want you to take a look at this anchor chart. And I want you to think like, is there anything else you could add to make your letter or your sign even more convincing? Remember, the goal of our opinion writing is to convince our reader to believe what we believe and to kind of go along with what we're saying. So I think you've all done this. I think you've all been pretty clear with your opinion, but just make sure you've got that on there. Make sure you give lots of reasons, right? If you only have one reason why people should pick up their socks, see if you can push yourself to add another strong reason or maybe another, right? I like to think of the rule of three with reasons, trying to come up with three strong reasons. We talked about this yesterday and giving it a fix it idea. So don't just talk about the problem, but offer some solutions to the problem. So if you haven't done that yet, you might want to go back in your writing and do that. And be polite, right? I talked a little bit about this yesterday when I was thinking about my neighbors saying please and thank you and using a really respectful tone if you are writing a letter or making a sign so that your reader feels honored and respected. They're more likely to agree with your opinion if they do, right? And then stretch yourself if maybe you're in fourth or fifth grade. Think about some important information you could include. So if you've got a lot of reasons, maybe you want to add in some facts, right? Or you want to add in some examples, right? Push yourself to think and add and revise to make your writing even stronger. And then I skipped over this one, but this might be something you give a go, like telling a little story. I was thinking about this one when I was thinking about my neighborhood writing, how I could have told a story of, Iris and Kyle and I were riding our bikes, speeding down the street, when suddenly, right in front of us, was a trash barrel. We screeched to a halt. We almost got injured. And then I could have said, can you please bring in your trash barrels? And then listed my reason. So I'm thinking I might do some revising around that today. But once you revise and you feel like your piece is ready to share with the world, here's what I want you to do. I'm just gonna switch this real quick. And I wanna show you that I think we can create the world's largest Padlet. Watch this, we're gonna have a go. Okay, here it is, sorry about that. So I was thinking, after you do your writing, you could upload it to Padlet. So here I did mine. So all I did, if I want to add something to a Padlet board, you just click on a spot. See this little pink thing that just popped up? You want to click on that, and then you're going to be able to type, right? So if you wanted to put your name, I probably should have put my name here. So let me edit mine, and I'll say, this is Findlay. And then I just wrote a little bit about... I said, I wrote a letter to my neighbors asking them to bring in their trash barrels. I gave them some fix-it ideas, but then my kids and I decided to just bring them in ourselves, which is what we did. And then I uploaded my writing right from Google, right? So I want you to think about adding to this Padlet board to really inspire others of some things that they might try in their homes or in their neighborhoods or in the world to make it a better place and improve it right? And if you see something as you're reading the Padlet that inspires you and you want to comment on it, like this one I love. It says, I made kindness rocks and put them around my neighborhood so people would be nice to each other. I'm going to like that because I think that's cool. And I'm going to write, that's such a cool idea. I think I might try that. Right? So just see how I did that? We could make the world's largest Padlet board of all our amazing ideas of ways that we can make our homes, our neighborhoods, and the world a better place. And we can comment on each other's, the ones that inspire us. 
and we want to let our the writers know like wow that was a really amazing idea so i hope you do some revising today i hope you add to the palette padlet and i'm going to be checking and i'm going to be commenting and i can't wait to read what you wrote have a great day